Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you a little insight into our second week of isolation uh, during the coronavirus. Um, I'm going to include just some activities that myself and my family got up to with our toddler, keeping him entertained indoors and a few recipes. Um, pretty much all the recipes actually are going to be dairy free and wheat free due to my little boy's allergy. So they're both pretty um, like healthy, the cooking that we do. So I hope you like this kind of thing. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below and please subscribe to my channel. Let's get on to it. Hi guys, excuse the absolute state of me, but we're actually playing with some Play-Doh this morning. It's actually the set that I got from the poundshop.com. If you've um, seen my haul on that, it's this one. Um, I think it was two pounds. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. There's three lots of Play-Doh in it, so obviously you can just replace that and once that's dried out, if you wanted a little bit more. But it's got so much stuff with it that we'll just keep using. Um, so it's got these little moulds that you can make the dinosaurs with. And I think we've got four of those. And then you've got these scenes that you can put it on, uh, roll it with a little rolling pin that Leo's got. Um, so that goes there. And then like a little knife through the cutting. That. Yeah, what have you got there? It's a triceratops, isn't it? Tops. We made one, didn't we? Here he is. Um, Leo's absolutely loving it. He loves Play-Doh. It does say three plus on the on the um, box, but I mean, he's played with Play-Doh before and I'm sitting here with him. I wouldn't leave him unattended. I think we're going to be playing with this for a little while today. super simple like counting songs um, we do try to get Leo to like count and stuff like that he's not that interested but then we found with these songs it's actually made it a lot better and he does try and count along with it sometimes so um, like once a day or twice a day we'll put on a couple of these songs um, for him to watch on YouTube So Leo has just gone down for his nap. It's like 10 past 10 now. Um, so I'm just gonna prepare his lunch for when he wakes up. He'll probably have around about an hour and a half, two hours for his nap. Um, and then I'll start preparing dinner for this evening. Um, as you probably saw, we did a little bit of baking this morning for our dessert. We're actually making some dairy-free, uh, gluten-free uh, chocolate, chocolate fondant, sorry, that we uh, found a recipe for online. So I will share the recipe for that because it hopefully it's going to be really nice. I mean, they look amazing. So um, yeah, I'll see what they're like and then I'll share that as well. Um, for lunch, I'm making him some gluten-free gnocchi with some homemade pesto that I make. Um, it's quite a healthy one because there's lots of spinach in it, avocado and all stuff like that. And surprisingly, it keeps really well in the fridge. Um, so I made it a few days ago and we're still using it for things. Like he had it in like a vegan cheese toaster yesterday with the pesto in and he really liked that. Um, we could do it with pasta and then obviously we're doing it today with gnocchi. So that's Leo's lunch, that's his gnocchi, which I've actually cut lengthways to make it at less of a choking risk. He's got some of these little, we'll say oat cookies. We, we can make them quite a lot with all different fillings. We made these yesterday, there's just oats, um, some like, dairy-free spread that we kind of melted down a little bit. A little bit of maple syrup was in there. Some raisins and some chopped apples. Um, you can do this with like grated orange zest. Um, you could leave out the apples. You can literally mix up anything you've got in your cupboard really. Um, he really likes these, it's like a little treat. And then he's also got um, some oranges and grapes. I just thought I'd talk you through our katsu curry sauce that we're having. Um, I've actually cheated a little bit and I've bought some breaded chicken already just because they had it in store. Obviously we are in lockdown at the moment so we're just grabbing what we can. Um, we're going to have that with white rice and there is two large carrots here, one onion, two cloves of garlic, a vegetable stock cube and we have um, 
one tablespoon of curry powder, then one teaspoon of garam masala. You kind of fry this all off, add in your stock cube um, and some water so it just covers and then add in your spices. Simmer that down for about half an hour or 25 minutes and then you blitz it all up in your blender. Hi guys, shock, shock. The chocolate fondant was amazing guys, I will share the recipe down below. Also the katsu curry came out perfect as always so I will also share that. Hi guys, another day in isolation today. I think we must be on about day 8 now for us and um, I last spoke to you yesterday. Um, so this morning my husband was home, he is actually a key worker so um, he's working a, a later shift this afternoon and this evening. Um, so he's obviously still going out to work. Um, we got up and we did the Joe Wicks um, PE uh, with Joe Wicks, it's for Friday today, um, which is really good. We've really got into the habit of doing it and I think it's really good to work out in front of Leo because it's becoming very normal for him um, and he really enjoys watching us do it. Um, just being silly, like when they're doing like the bunny hops and stuff, you know, we were chasing around the living room doing it. So yeah, he really likes that. Um, it's been quite a chilled morning actually. We've done just a little bit of playing and reading and stuff like that with Leo. Um, he gets up really early still, so we was up by six, which was a lay-in actually for us with him at the moment. Um, had breakfast and then, yeah, did our workout. Um, he's actually napping at the moment and he requested this morning after seeing it on a programme, I think it was, and um, that he would like a teddy bear's picnic. So he keeps telling us he wants bear's picnic, bear's picnic. So I'm like, okay, we can do that. Um, so I've just set that up in our garden um, and I'll show you that now. I've got his lunch ready. I've actually put it into his lunch box, which is a little bento box, where I have put the his little drink of water in the middle, um, just because there was enough already in there. We've made him the homemade salmon um, kind of nuggets, I guess. So I blitz up a slice of his gluten-free, dairy-free bread to make a breadcrumb. I dip the salmon in some egg and then dip it into the breadcrumb, and then I bake that in the oven for about 20 minutes. He's got two little rice cakes with almond butter on there. Some oranges and some grapes that have been cut up and then some cucumber and some green olives are actually in there as well that's all cut up. Um, so yeah, that's what he'll be having with his teddy bear's picnic. Bear! Hello Mr Teddy Bear! I also wanted to mention a new something that we tried this morning and that is the Cosmic Kids Yoga that's on YouTube. Um, we actually did the one that was we're going on a bear hunt um, just because it's Leo's favourite at the moment and he really enjoyed it. Um, he didn't join in with everything, um, he did with some of the moves but he was just transfixed to the screen um, watching the lady do it. So I think if we keep trying to do one of those every couple of days um, I think he'll get quite into that. Okay, so we've just got back from our walk. We're literally just walking around the block and keeping our social distancing if we come across any other walkers. Um, I'm just cooking dinner for myself and Leo. As I mentioned, my husband is actually working a late shift this evening. And we are having a vegan mushroom risotto. Um, I'll just talk you through what I'm doing. Okay, so I have fried off uh, one onion, three cloves of garlic, and as many mushrooms as I had in my fridge, to be honest, which was around three quarters of like a little punnet of the chestnut mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms though. Um, once these have just kind of browned up and softened a little bit, I'm going to add um, a cup of risotto rice. Um, we, I haven't got stockpiled this or anything like that. We literally just keep risotto rice in the cupboard because we have it quite a lot. Um, I'm then going to add a little bit of dry parsley and one vegetable stock cube. Um, I'm gonna put this into about 500 mils of, uh, of hot water, sorry. And then I'll just add that gradually until it's all incorporated and keep mixing it. 
Uh, once that is incorporated, I will then add in around about half a cup of um, like yeast flakes. Um, you can add in a little bit extra if you like it more cheesy or a little bit less if you want it a little bit less so. Um, at the end, sometimes I will stir in some spinach, like baby spinach, but I haven't got any. We actually used it up this morning in a smoothie. Um, and then on mine, when I serve it up, I will serve it with lots of black pepper because that's how I like it. But with Leo, he'll have it without the black pepper. Hi guys, it's now the next day. It's actually 7.30 a.m. Um, Leo has been up since half five again. He's just getting up really early at the moment. He's really hungry. He's finishing all of his meals and he's having a lot of snacks. So there's not really much more I can do. His meals are really balanced, really filling. We're giving him a bit more protein of his meals, but yeah, we're still hitting those early mornings at the moment. Um, we're actually just getting ready. I've sort of just stuck my hair up and done some makeup. And um, there's something that I'm making a point of doing every morning because it's actually making me feel a lot better if I'm actually getting up and getting dressed, even if it's in loungewear, um, just to do my skincare, you know, put a bit of makeup on and do my hair. I'm just feeling a bit more like, you know, a bit more purpose. Um, we're also kind of, we've got like a little schedule going, not like regimented or anything like that, but um, nine o'clock we've been doing PE with Joe Wicks. Me and my husband have just been really enjoying doing that and just having a workout every day. We normally do like an extra workout, either sort of a little bit before, a little bit after it as well. Either Pilates, yoga, another HIIT workout, or something like that, whatever we're fancying. Um, and as I mentioned before, we're also doing the Cosmic Kids Yoga with Leo. We started doing that yesterday and he really enjoyed that. So I'll probably carry on with that every couple of days. Um, that's it really. So I'll just kind of take you on what we're up to today. We are actually making a yummy vegan Easter themed dessert today using the silicone moulds that I got from the pound shop haul. Um, I will link that uh, vlog down below. Uh, so I started off by melting some dark chocolate. I'm going to pour that into the silicone moulds. And then once these have set in the fridge, I'm actually going to fill them with an avocado chocolate mousse. So I guess they're kind of a little bit of a healthier dessert. And for the avocado chocolate mousse, I'm actually going to use one avocado. As you can see here, just going to pop that in the little blender. I'm using three scoops of cocoa powder. Um, I'm going to use um, a little bit of almond milk and a little bit of maple syrup. You can also use honey or agave syrup um, just to taste, however, however sweet you like it. Um, I did have to add in a little bit more of the almond milk than what was shown. We are currently watching this animal video. It's like 100 animal names on YouTube. And I just thought I'd share it because it's really good. Um, just for getting their vocab up and getting them to learn more animals, actually. We're sitting watching it together. Tiger! And he's literally repeating them all. And obviously there's quite a lot on here, so... What is it? Cookie. Cookie. Turkey. So we've learnt lots more today and he keeps asking to see it. So we've had it on like once or twice a day this week. Bit of a lazy mum hack, I guess. Um, but yeah, whatever works. Oh, wow. Well done, Leo. Mummy. We're just playing the colour game. I did actually share this on our first Day in the Life vlog with us. Um, it's literally just the coloured paper and just some items from like in their toy box or around the house that's safe to play with. Um, Leo has got so good at this game now. He's really good. You did a good job, didn't you? Ah! ah. Look at that. More games. More games, yes. More so these are the finished desserts, guys. So I filled it with the avocado mousse, um, pretty much halfway. Hi, Leo. <laughs> and strawberries and blackberries. Something else that has really helped keep us entertained is when you type into Google a certain animal, you can see them in 3D. So that's me just in bed now, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it down because obviously Leo is fast asleep. Um, I just wanted to jump on to say something that's really been helping me through this time is a little bit of self-care in the evenings. Um, so when Leo's been going to bed, I've been indulging in a lovely long bath. Um, tonight I put a lovely hair mask on, um, let it sit for a couple of hours and I've just washed and blow dried that so it's all nice and soft. 
um, face masks, pedicures, painting my nails, just silly things like that. I'm suffering from a really bad hormonal breakout at the moment that's just started, so the joys. Um, but even still, just taking care of myself a little bit has helped just boost my mood. So I thought I would share that just in case you are struggling. Um, I think it's a good one to take into account. I think I'm going to finish this vlog here. Um, we've had a few days of, you know, spending a bit of time in our isolation with us. I hope that it's kind of entertained you through this period. I know it's really difficult at the moment for all of us, um, but we're all in it together. Um, if you like this kind of thing, then please let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to stick around on this journey with me, then please subscribe. Bye, guys.